pretty much anything you need it for. If you're, this is honestly probably ideal to be playing Smash on a Smash box. I know that the sometimes the angles are different and the wave dashes are different, but in the long run, it's probably just better off for your hands, for your mental state, probably just for controllers in general. Maybe these parts are even easier to replace than a damn GameCube controller because we can't get them. So I would say, yeah, if you're damn brand new to this stuff, starting on Smashbox, not a bad idea. And we are now finally getting into our grand finals set here. Set one, of course. Uh, grand finals of this uh, hit, uh, blah, blah, blah. Quick draw two, invitational, no, qualifier, thingy. Whatever, it's sick. it's sick. I'm here. You're here, <laughs> working on it. All right. We're gonna see some drills. We're gonna see some shines. Perhaps we'll see them in se in like sequence. You know. Uh huh. I would say that Fox is certainly a, has a very easy time splitting up the ICs, as you can see them grasping for breath as Stango's got the chokehold on them with constant shining off of the stage. Very big. So Stango was kind of messing around with Ivysaur and stuff, and either he saw Fresh like kind of tearing through losers, or he just is like was like I want to like finish it as fast as possible. But he's he's going his main now. Yeah, if I were to guess, I would actually just say that Stango was just probably saying I just feel like playing Fox because yeah. I don't think Icy's I think Icy's is great against or uh, Ivysaur is great against Icy's mm, as okay. well. Very easy to split. I mean, safe projectiles, safe air. It's just safe. So, uh, he'd probably just feel like playing Fox. I respect that. Fox fun to play. Yeah. And has no slouch against Icy's for sure. Definitely. But, you know, Fresh got his work cut out for him. Sango has a- and Zero Suit. I think Zero Suit crushes Icy's as well. Sango's got his work cut out for him as- or Fresh has his work cut out for him because Sango has a wide array of characters to bring out here. Oh. I've done it. You've done I it. Said this Congrats. Thanks, man. You're a fast talker. I am definitely a talker. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Uh, Sango is up two stocks here, oh, no. unfortunately. Getting the better of Fresh in most of these scenarios there. Oh, I love the the ledge decision for Fresh there. It actually takes quite a bit of, of brain power to be like, I'm going to hold the ledge the whole time against Fox's 75 options. So good job on him there. Big down tilt going to split them up once again. Uh, we're <laughs> looking for our wallet. Please Definitely alert the authorities if you have it. Okay, now the back airs. See, as you can see, like first was definitely shielding, but Nana's like, do I shield or should I just get hit? I, I can't decide which is a better option. And there she goes. So uh, it's tough playing with Icy sometimes, especially with all the pressure that Fox puts up. I mean, look at him, in and out, shine, constant. You're you're always split up. The only thing you're thinking as an Icy's player is not how do I beat the shit out of this Fox. It's yo, how do I get Nana to come back? <laughs> you you kind of need Nana to. to Overwhelm Fox with with hitboxes really like double back airs, double F smashes, things like of, of that nature. Probably what's gonna keep him out. Maybe yeah, these like Nana Pulse is, is gonna have Blizzard stop him. He's just gonna slow him down. You need icicles. You need something to slow him down. Fox is too good to beat straight up with ICs. Up throw up air, very simple. Dead before a hundred. I mean, this is a tough one. It's a tough matchup, man. Oh, all right, we are doing real people bands. No best or middle three here. Fresh, what is your best stage? Is it Green Hill? I don't know. Okay, Fresh saying big wide is where we want to go. I respect that. It's got a quite a low ceiling, though, so it, again, you're going to be dying before 100 to up throw up air, but you do have lots of room for Blizzard, lots of room for Icicles, and uh, yeah, I'd say that's what mostly what Icy's are looking for is a wide center platform, or uh, base platform there. Stango is looking very comfortable though. The, he re I can't even say I've seen him mess up yet. <laughs> Anything. Stango Absolutely. fully aware that I have an art history test to do after this, and they're just being such a homie and just being a forward holder. I really appreciate Stango for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, making this a possibly five minute best of five. It is looking bleak for Fresh here. Perhaps he can figure something out, or maybe even next game we'll see one of the Fresh's legendary secondaries. I, I was wondering. I've never seen Fresh pick any character but Ices. What 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 does Fresh have? Uh, Fresh's secondaries pretty much consist of Roy and Snake, and uh, I couldn't tell you which is better. I I think he's doing a little more Snake recently, 
Because everyone laughed at his Roy a little too mm. much. And that's uh, all fine and dandy. I mean, <laughs> a skilled Roy can beat any fox. Uh, that's like a legend I've heard. And while that legend may be true, does Fresh have a skilled Roy? True, yeah. That's definitely part of the equation there, and I'm not sure Fresh has done the math for that one, but we're going to see another up throw up air. I think he just missed no SDI there, IMO, but... See a jump smash? Uh, yeah. A classic jump it's gonna, smash? It's going to be a... Uh, gonna be another drill on your shine there I mean drill shine oh I don't know I don't know how you missed the shine on Nana but good job oh my gosh as you can see Stango not giving fresh even a second to think is he is just running in with shines and hitboxes on shield and this is kind of what Fox loves to do in this matchup here you don't really have to be as calculated in other matchups as you were just trying to separate them with your frame one move I'm not complaining it's just frame one I think an uh, underrated aspect of the Ice Climbers matchup is like the dopamine receptors. Like, you have twice the dopamine because you're hitting two more. You're hitting another thing. Like, there's two more. There's two things to hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can even unstale some of your moves this way. Yeah. I mean, it's not very hard to kill Nana, and that is kind of their main gimmick there. And Nana is going to hang out with the angels in heaven once again as she is up smashed into space. Okay, I, Fresh going free just a revenge fair which is gonna kill himself which is uh unfortunate stango once again getting a immediate shine split but fresh recovering immediately said immediately twice there unfortunate maybe nobody noticed uh nanopults where are they can we do some nanopults oh god fresh runs in as fast as possible i couldn't even see it he just wave dashed in at the speed of light then air dodging gets grabbed gets grabbed Oh my gosh, Stango just not letting up even for a second. Are we dead at 80? Oh, we are almost dead at 80. Nana at, at X percent, almost dying. Up throw up air. He's literally just hitting them both at the same time, all the time. Moving on to game three of this best of five set. Winner's grand finals thingy thing, Mick thing. Okay. I maybe would have liked to see Fresh pick a different stage. Just, just try something. But, uh. These are all about learning as well, so as much as I want to say maybe try something new, he may just want to learn more on this stage. Sort of respectable. I'm giving the players a lot of respect for this. I'll just give him some respect. Hey, you know, going on fresh there, hey, bud. Good job, man. Anyway, he gets up, thrown up, and destroyed instantly. So uh, now we got to grab near the ledge here. Down there, oh, we're going to almost any percent. Fantastic. Uh, uh, get split insta. That's probably like 30 damage on Nana right there. Ah, uh, yeah, super mash. That thing goes a masher, and I mean you should be in this matchup for sure. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people talk about how Falcon has a gun and doesn't use them, but nobody talks about how ICs have those fucking cleats and don't even like stomp on people. That's do, true. Do you see those cleats? You ever you ever it's... seen like that episode of SpongeBob, where he's like, you know that uh the strangler episode? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like he's like trying to get into the window, and he has those cleats on. Steps on his eyes or something. Yeah, like that. that's what that's what uh, ice climbers oh. have. Yeah. Maybe uh, <laughs> if Fresh finds a way to utilize those, then we could see a turnaround. Yeah, maybe every time that like uh, Icy's footstool, you just take like fifty damage. Yeah, I could ah. see that. Yeah. Maybe that seems devs. Devs. <laughs> yeah. and, it, there, and devs? it plays like a Tom and Jerry sound effect. <laughs> Oh man! Are we, I, oh my God, we almost died. Oh, we're never getting down again. This is actually the end of the set, almost. I mean, Fresh does have two stocks, but I, I don't know what we're gonna see here, guys. I have like three sets of Stango on my YouTube channel, and they're all just this. <laughs> it's just this. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Stango does a really good job of overwhelming his opponent with Fox normals and Fox shining and Fox yelping and running around like a crazy ah oh, there we go unfortunately the momentum of being knocked off is going to destroy fresh insta so there you have it that is the grand finals end of the tournament stango being your grand champion how many more times could i say grand i am not entirely sure i don't know Stay tuned to find out certainly had a grand time here at a uh, quick draw number two definitely see you next week Heck yeah, indeed. And perhaps we'll finish this tournament up with just mentioning Medify one more time. Being powered by Medify is the quick draw, invitational, qualifier, tournament, net play, United States, three, three regions, three tournaments, three brackets. It's pretty sick. And, uh, I mean, you want to be a part of it.
And even if you're just watching, that's being a part of it. And we respect that because you're a G if you're just in the chat hanging out. Throw a follow once more. If you followed already, make another account. Follow again. What's the big deal? Come on. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like that. God, what a nice tournament. Love to see the competition there, man. And this is some of the competition you'll see at, like, perhaps an East Coast National as well. Maybe at Blacklisted, you'll see these rematches as well. You know, this is this is no joke. These guys are all mad good. These guys get the top eight. These guys are your guys to cheer for. I love them. I love these guys. All right, uh, we're going to sign off for now. I don't think we're going to stream West Coast because I'm kind of busy tonight, but uh, I'm sure the doctor is going to have a grand time running through this and securing his spot. But, yeah, thanks all for watching. <laughs> Nice, indeed. So, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I'm Envy. This is Trinity, your local TO master. And enjoy your nights, everybody.